Hello friends, this is Vani from Viva Sew and Style. Today's video is about yet another learn to sew pattern from McCall's. McCall's 7313. May I say that this is my favorite pattern, not just learn to sew but dress pattern period that I have sewn. I have made it four or five times. Well, I made two times for myself. I made two dresses for my niece. And I did a pattern hacking with the skirt portion of this dress. So let me tell you why this pattern is so great and why I love it so much. The first thing is it is a level one sewing pattern and that is exactly right you can sew this dress in less than one hour you can sew the complete dress on a serger if you like to do, do that i always sew mine on my sewing machine and then i take it to my serger and finish the seams another thing is you don't have to deal with any neck bands and you don't have to deal with any facings. You just simply turn the, the neck area and just fold it over and that's how you finish it and it comes out beautiful. Also the dress features two necklines. One is what is called a beto neckline I believe or a boat neck is what how we call it and the other one is the scoop neck and I tried both of them this dress pattern has only four pieces the front bodice back bodice skirt and sleeve and that is it another thing that makes this dress pattern so great is the fitting i mean you can sew the most beautiful dress in the world but if it does not look flattering on your body then it's a waste it's of no use but this dress oh my god even on a person who is an apple body shape like me i mean this gives me a somewhat of a waistline and it looks so flattering on my body and if it can look good on an apple body just imagine if you are in a pear body so that means you most likely already have a smaller waist and this dress will accentuate it and then you don't have to worry about the dress not fitting in the hip area because it flares out plus the length of the dress is appropriate it's neither too short nor too long although i believe longer length is possible another thing is the dress is very much hackable i mean i converted one of my tops into a dress and all i did i was not using that top so much so what I did is I just hacked it and I cut it up to the bodice length and then I bought a one yard remnant from Joann's. So I got for four dollars a really nice black scuba knit fabric from Joann's and I just cut the skirt and attached it. And everybody gave me so many compliments at work. I did not tell them that I made the dress. <laughs> I let them think that it's a store bought. So, I have made for myself this dress two times. So now, let me show you how it looks. So, this is my dress number one. As you can see, this dress comes out gorgeous. I mean... I expect to pay $70-80 for a dress like this 
and you know i bought this fabric from amazon um the unfortunately it's no longer available so but you can find you know scuba knit fabrics easily and two yards is all that i needed to make this gorgeous dress so i could not be happier and i want to sew it over and over again so now let me show you my second dress so friends this is my dress number 2 as you can see i made it um next time i make it i am going to try using you know the clear tape in the shoulders to prevent any stretching although i don't think that the dress stretched out but this fabric is like very thin and stretchy so maybe that's why um i bought this uh, fabric from walmart it was 4 dollars for a 2 yard bundle and i just love the colors and the print and the was like a border print so i that's how i was able to create the bodice and the skirt so i'm very happy with this dress i hope that you guys find this video inspiring if you like learn to sew patterns i have posted eight already on my channel please do check them out also if you like my content please subscribe to my channel thank you so much bye bye